The Jamaica Bar Association is the latest group in ex expressing objection to the government's move to amend the Constitution to increase the retirement age of the DPP and the Auditor General without consultation. While recognizing what it says is Ms. Llewellyn's stellar contribution to the legal profession and the public service, Jambar views as regrettable that the current and necessary conversation regarding the Constitution constitutional office of the DPP has added controversy to her, quote, outstanding tenure, unquote. Meanwhile, the DPP continues to defend her stewardship. She was speaking at a Rotary Club function in Clarendon last evening. Javon Keyes reports. The future of the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP Paula Llewellyn, hangs in the balance. This evening as Parliament passed the bill to raise the retirement age of the DPP and Auditor General from 60 to 65. Many are anxiously awaiting Monday's Supreme Court ruling in the matter Mervyn Cameron versus the Attorney General. Cameron, a murder convict, sought an injunction in February this year against the decision to grant an extension to the DPP's tenure to go beyond the age of 60 years. In the court documents filed in the Supreme Court, he argued that the DPP's first extension to remain in office was not gazetted. He is also seeking an order to prevent her from getting a second extension. From the opposition People's National Party to the Jamaica Bar Association and civil society groups, there's been discord about the government's move to amend the constitution to facilitate the extension. People have also taken aim at the DPP's performance. And while not referring to the criticisms leveled against her, Ms. Llewellyn told a Rotary Club in Clarendon this recently. I have brought up C yes. and I was taught whether privately or publicly to respect everybody, yes. even those who disrespect me. And when Michelle Obama said, when those who wish go low, you continue to stay high. She again defended her stewardship. Have we, when we get our salaries, have we been guilty without explanation of obtaining money by means of false pretenses. And by the way, that's an offense under, I think, Section 35, one of the last of the act. Obtaining, the police officers in the room would know, obtaining money by means of false pretenses. The DPP says she remains committed to her work. Faith without works is dead. So do not cower in the face of adversity. Do not remain reticent. Do not go on the other side of the road like the Pharisee or the Sadducee in the biblical parable. Do not take the ostrich approach when there are situations that need your positive input. Ms. Llewellyn, who was due to retire in September 2020, was granted a three-year extension to her tenure in July the same year. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.